Well, the Faculty of Engineering, there are five departments and postgraduate programs are run out of all five. There are the Chemical Engineering, Civil and Environmental Engineering, Mechanical and Manufacturing Engineering, Electrical and Computer Engineering, and Land and Geomatics Engineering. There are also postgrad programs out of the Office of the Dean, which is the MSc in Project Management. We have about 35 postgraduate programs, uh, both master's programs and postgraduate diplomas on offer, as well as the opportunity to pursue about 25 different MPhil and PhD areas. The Faculty of Engineering has a lot of practitioners as well as academics who teach. So prospective students will get a mix of real life experiences as well as theoretical experiences that would help to integrate their knowledge and help them even in their present employment. Most of the postgraduate students at the faculty are actually employed, as most of our programs are part-time. However, they are full-time, students can opt to do it full-time in preparation for the world of work. So at the faculty, because of the different engineering fields, students can find themselves in chemical plants or in the oil industry. I've seen students who have done geomatics who also work in the oil industry. So the scope for employment is wide. There are endless career possibilities. We've had graduates who have gone on to do all sorts of engineering um, areas, internationally as well as regionally and locally. Uh, so you can focus on becoming a professional practitioner as well as doing research in different engineering disciplines. Locally, they can be found in any area where engineering is being done, any kind of development area. And internationally, we have graduates at all sorts of well-known institutions. So we have graduate, postgraduates who are probably in the UN, FAO, in a lot of different agencies as well as industries. Most of the programs that presently are done at the faculty. In the MSc Project Management Program, I also run it out of Guyana. So presently that is done at least 90% online. What we would do maybe once per semester send a lecturer there who would sit and coalesce everything with the students. The facilities in the Faculty of Engineering have, you see, because of our accreditation system, have to meet international standards. So they are continuously upgraded based on new information that comes from the accreditors, upgraded based on requirements of the industries, upgraded based on what lecturers want to focus on at any point in time. So they are current and they meet with all the international standards. We have a lot of, of international collaborations, both with um, international agencies such as FAO, uh, the UN, and other funding agencies that would focus on the particular areas of development. And this is a particular area that is, is very important for engineers, as well as we have collaborations with universities as well and that will allow for exchanges so that we're always at the cutting edge of theory as well as practice and we always have access to uh, probably the highest level of, of technologies available. I think that we both have uh, the cutting edge theory in our collaborations with external partners, but we also focus on areas that are best for the development of the country and the region as well. So we take that cutting edge theory and apply it in different ways to what would be the best for development in our region. Postgraduate programs, uh, it's a budgeting area 
a lot of people who may wonder why do postgraduate uh, degrees when the economy is at uh, such a stage where uh, they wonder if they can get a job but we are focusing on entrepreneurial activities in the university and in the in the faculty as well so uh, the having the advanced understanding in engineering disciplines will allow you to work for yourself and pursue entrepreneurial activities. In the office of the Dean, um, we run the MSc in Project Management, which more or less is one of the larger MSc programs. If you look at the region, and uh, not just the region, internationally, project management is a growing field. And we have been able to capitalize on that and attract students not just from Trinidad and Tobago, but from Guyana, St. Vincent, Grenada, up to today, I was speaking to someone from Antigua who is interested in doing it. So as it expands, then we would see some of the current problems that industries face in terms of delivering programs and delivering projects for the public. We would see better performances in that. So that's one thing. In terms of diversification of the economy, given that oil and gas is kind of on the low, then we must seek to divest the economy, diversify the economy into other areas. So there's the MSc in Manufacturing Engineering, where we take students and allow them to create their own products, help design products, help to innovate, and thereby creating niche markets which currently do not exist. They are designed to meet with the needs of the local and the regional and the region in that industries locally and regionally have specific problems that international programs are unable to meet. In terms of locally, other local programs, with the exception of that university up the road, I don't think anyone else has um, a wide range of MSc programs as we do. And we also have a history and we are well known for what we do. So in terms of brand recognition, the faculty being here at the University of the West Indies gives that credibility to one who completes one of our MSCs.